match, Dan. It was 108 one set against uh, Scott Williams, and then 74, 75. It was like, where did that come from? We also know that any moment the afterburners could come on. Yes. And the average suddenly is at 97. You think all is rosy again. But it's up. He's not found and not close either. For as long as his stems are, it's amazing Luke didn't move. Wayward again trying to throw for a straight 20. Michael starts are not going in right either. They're going in a little flat. Surely, Luke. That's how you use a marker. You think it's quite warm in here. Well, he's throwing well now. Luke Humphreys, 2-1 up. And he will come back for 81 to go 3-1. As Van Gerwen loses the line again. To break the throw, double 12. 3-1, a real professional leg from Luke Humphreys there. See, he's so similar. And Michael talks about luck a lot, Dan, and you do need it. You need your opponent to miss every now and again at the right time for you. It's even more astonishing, he's won three weekly titles, MVG. This is still on. Uh, couldn't get the treble. Yeah, that was a happy accident, the treble five. So for a break back after the break back. No score. Michael, you require 24. 12 darts missed at double already by Luke Humphreys. It is three all, and yet he could really be coasting in this game. And he's looking more likely around the treble 20 bed, that's for sure. 100. MVG, is it? 38 180s in this Premier League so far. And that's his second 171 in three, four visits. 20, uh, 10 180s more than anyone. He's played a lot more legs, Dan, but it shows you that he's scoring his back, but not really in this game so far. No, the treble 19 doing a lot of important work for him. Not in that particular visit, it has to be said, and it just does open the door. Even one treble for Humphreys will keep him interested. Well, that's two, and all of a sudden, this feels an important little passage. Does indeed. How awkward's that? Huge moments. He was 5-3 up last week and lost. He's 5-3 up this week. 40 or more. Yes. The treble 20 has not been there for him. Treble 9, he'd, he'd be better off playing on the 19s for the whole match. Yeah, Razmer it. Matters Razma, the Latvian number one. Proficient on the 57. 59. Yeah, Michael's first start is low or not even a marker. Now that is where he needs it if he's going to miss it. 105. Giving himself a chance in this leg. Try and prolong the match. However, a first max of the match would be ideal. And he spreads his arms because he may well have given himself a chance. It's all about timing. That's what Michael Van Gerwen says. It's about doing the right things at the right time. That was the right score for Luke Humphries. Double top to win it. And Michael Van Gerwen's plans are four on the spin are in the bin because the world number one. Humphreys wins the opener on the night. He gets one over on MVG. Yeah, just having a re-grip. You have to bring the 25 into play here. Not so now. Good second dart. 100. Peter, you require 89. 20 leaves the bullseye. Treble 20. Oh, well, well you talk about alternative routes. 42. Nathan, you require 135. Well, he's made a real mess there, Peter. Can Nathan punish? Over to treble 19 to treble 15. Peter's still got a bit of work to do 19. here. Careless of his Peter last start. He's only going to get two at a double. Tops the choice. 
One dart in hand, and it's a big one. Peter Wright. Please, in the fourth leg of the match, if he takes it against the darts, he's 3-1 up, Peter Wright, and well on the way to his first Premier League win of 2024. Yeah, you can see Peter frustrated, he finds the 180, follows it with a 45, and it's scrappy at the minute. Nathan Aspel, one of the best scrappers in the game, will give it everything. Even he knows things aren't go going his way, and he isn't as fluent as he'd like to be at the minute, and he's left a poor visit there, and he'll keep chipping away, Nathan. Right is on a finish, but it's a long range out shot. 96. PT require 156. Yes, and another. You're in, righty. Double 18. And Peter Wright is having a party. Peter Wright. He's 3 1 up as he searches that elusive. First Premier League win of the year. 109 in defeat against Michael Van Gerwen here as well. He's not posting those numbers here. He is finding a way, but so is Nathan, digging his way in, finding a way back into the tie. Aspro looking for the immediate break back and could do it in 11 darts here off the back of leaving 92. 82 after Leaving nine darts thrown. The Asp. Double 16 to do just that. Brilliant. Brilliant finish, brilliant leg from Nathan Aspro. Serious breathing space in this leg. He's just gone 11 darts. 95. Back it up with an 11 darts here. And in no time could be three apiece. And that will be two legs in 22 darts. And Peter Wright can leave the 156. He's already taken out, and he does so. Now Aspinall looking for 11 darts back to back. Wright looking for two 156s. Dart Javu one way or the other. Just having a glance. Bullseye. Oh, wow. Well, 11 darts. Look at the determination on him. Chuntering away to himself. 3 1 down. And he's turned the game around. He was shaking his head slightly when that 1 5 6 went in, but he's channeled it in the right way. And here he goes again. The rhythm is brilliant from Nathan. 141. Well, now then, 11 12. What's next in the sequence? It could actually be 10. Makes no sense as a mathematical puzzle, but. It'll make a lot of sense to Nathan Aspinall, who's absolutely rampant at the moment. Has it missed a dart a double yet? And he won't mind missing that one if it goes in this visit. Going the wrong way. No Will they be costly? Well, is this a pivotal moment in this contest? It could be. A choice of double for Snakebite. Tops is the pick. But not found. That would have been an act of escapology in this seventh leg, as it is Aspinall ready to pounce again and go in front. And does lead for the first time in a match, Nathan Aspinall. Just the three this year. We've seen a 1 5 6 from Snakey. We'll see a 1 3 6 if this hits double eight. Oh, and Snake bites so close to two. Ton plus out shots. He will be back. He'll have three in hand at double four to take the lead and go one up with two to play. 56. In this nail biter here in Exeter. I guarantee he at least throws for the match, Peter. Two missed for five four. Make that three. Coming down for double two. This could still get awkward. Six. It could get really well, awkward, even if Nathan doesn't take the 170. Peter Wright won't be relishing a visit at double one. I was about to say, Peter Wright has to miss outside, if anywhere. Because now, in the madhouse, at the bottom of the Premier League, is not the place he wants to be dwelling on a Thursday night. Double one.
Oh, it's close, but now he's got to go straight at it hard as he can. He did, but he didn't find it. And seven darts, the doubles to be 5 4 in front. Nathan missed three to lead 5 3. Is this another steal? Two darts, just needs the one. And look what it means to Nathan. And another setback for Peter Wright. He's been broken again. He got rid of it in six starts in the previous leg. It's likely. Stress likely he's going to get six here. 170 apiece. And we're seeing these ace arrows just leave this shot a lot. The big fish, they can all reel it in. Nathan can't on this occasion. So Peter Wright may be forced to land the big one to stay in the contest. It's still on. Can you, Peter, can you save the match with the big fish? Oh! This. Great effort from Peter, but this isn't a foregone conclusion. See Nathan when he had three in hand at tops on a couple of occasions, he was a little bit wild. This is for two more crucial points. This bottom of the table clash and give him a good cushion away from Peter Wright and Nathan finds a way to win. It's more Premier League woes for Peter Wright. It's way off. Yeah. It's like he doesn't even own a radar at the minute. <laughs> flat. Really flat. But that from Rob Cross is a signal of intent. He has not had a happy time of it against Gerwin Price over the last couple of years. He did beat him in a World Series event, we beat him brilliantly actually in New Zealand, went on to take the title back in August last yeah. year. But around that, he's been losing. He has, yeah. But he may not lose this leg. If he can clear up the 1-4-1, one, one, we will see a nine darter. Come on, then. Six perfect. Make that seven. To the treble 16. It does not get it. Would have left double 18, which he absolutely adores. Yeah. That was so close. That really was so close. And of course, we haven't seen a nine data since 2022 when this man hit two on one night in Belfast. For a little ten data finish on double four. Not the norm. Eleven data on double two is not the norm yeah. either. That is two nil, and so far, Cross has been too good. Gezi has got to find yeah. something. This is good from Cross. And he's been, look, he's been very, very efficient. He has played at a consistent level, perhaps not top level for the last year or so, but that's more like it from the Iceman. But he's been so good at giving a good account of himself. We're yet to see him really hit the turbo boosters on a regular basis or game after game in big tournaments, except maybe the World Championship. He was excellent there. Only stopped by a brilliant Luke Littler display in the semi-final. But he's not far off his best. Yeah, I, I agree. I like the I like the way he played himself into. I'll talk about him in a minute. Oh! I like the way he played himself into the Grand Slam. It, he was fantastic in that. Then going into the Worlds, I thought it was kind of cross at his best. But like you said, he hasn't shown that so far in this Premier League. And I say so far... Because this will raise the roof. Double 16. Oh, cup hold of that. Classy. Cl if you're going to post those kind of numbers that Cross is posting, you're, you've got a chance of hammering anybody. Because even that ton 40 doesn't get priced back. Level pegging in this leg. Cross has got a couple of visits to see this off and take a 5 nil lead. Oh, he couldn't. Well, he can. Come on, then. Do not split. Do not split. Right, no time for that whatsoever. 6,000 people pay good money, Rob, and you don't care. 
all the people at home. The man wants to grind his opponent into the dirt. This is the man who's beaten him six of their last seven meetings. The boot is on the other foot now. And that is 5-0. It is stunning from Rob Cross. See in the previous leg, he declined the opportunity to finish the leg on the bullseye. This time, you would think if the option is there, he will go for it. Surely you go for it, yeah. With Gezi on 160, just looking to set it up and then oh, take it out for a whitewash. And remember, it's not just all about points, it's about legs difference as well. Oh, what a way to save the match. Does the comeback start yeah. here? <laughs> he loved that. <laughs> Very good. There will be no whitewash, but only because Gerwin Price has plucked that out of somewhere. Okay. Robbie Rick Mile on 161. It's another big combo finish. On the 18s first. Yeah, he, he likes that, doesn't he? Scored, yeah. He tries to avoid the treble 17 where possible, Rob Cross. Does all his work on the 20, the 18s and the 19s. And he's very, very good at it. And he has been very, very good in this game. He is going to obliterate his personal best in terms of Premier League average. He's right up there with his best ever on tour. But more importantly, it'll be another win in the Premier League and a demolition job of Gerwin Price. Going high over the top of that. Can he thread it? Yes, he can. That is sensational from Rob Cross. He averages close to 110. It is the best we've seen from him in the Premier League. And tonight, here in Exeter, Rob Cross has laid down a marker and booked his place in the semi-finals. From Hitter on the PDC Pro Tour, then the baton went on to Van Dijvenbode. But at the moment, the maximum per leg count since the World Championship, Littler, Starting to boss that stat category, and you can see why. They'll go on from here to the UK Open, where Littler yeah, could well go off as the bookmaker's favourite. In fact, he could go off as the bookmaker's favourite for the Grand National of the Boat Race, the way things are going. Favourite to lead here, and he does lead. Composed finishing from Luke Littler. 2 1. Averaging around about 114. Just five in total. Is this another? Again, though, Lip the nine darts down to a finish. It's going to take something special at this rate for Smith to break through. 24 left. Double six. 72. Oh, this could be that moment. If he misses the treble 19. He wants to be above it here, Michael. There's still space, brilliant dart, bullseye. Oh, it's a great oh, effort. It was a half chance, but one he may need to have taken, he hasn't taken it, and Littler takes a second opportunity. Double six is the double, 3-2 to Luke Littler. We're the biggest in the slam and the world. This is good, good from both. Particularly impressed with Smith because when you're constantly chasing, Ooh, it gets tricky. And here comes the pressure. Lit the look of that insurance of a breaker throw. And he's teed up a finish here with two big trebles, possibly culminating on his beloved double ten. Goes the other way, the Rob Crossway. Oh, the Rob Crossway. And he moves into a two-leg advantage. Brilliant finish from Luke Littler. A long, cool drink of water for Michael Smith. He, Smith, he could do with hosing Littler down to cool him down. He wants tops. Oh, now those could be expensive. Littler with two at double ten, you would think here. Indeed. And only needs the single dart at that target. And now to the brink of victory, Luke Littler. The lights here in the Premier League, and Michael Smith cannot dash the flames. Three behind, four legs to play maximum. Miss Bullseye, but 
I think more pertinently, and when he looks back and when he'll criticise himself, his two missed starts at tops. The player of his calibre will be disappointed with that. But the rest of his game has been very good, as Mark has mentioned on more than one occasion. But you talk about good, you talk about sensational! It's an incredible display from Luke Littler. The average up towards 110. Potential clash with Rob Cross. He's looking to see Rob Cross's average and raise it. Well, he finds the double eight. His average will be below Rob Cross's, but they meet in the semi finals now. Only 60. That is punishable. A 140 here, and Aspinall could be 3 1 up. Within the next 30, 40 seconds. 147. Much more likely to see this than an iron dart leg. Not going to see it. 131. Surprised given the ease at which that could be cleaned 76. up, Wayne. Took this out in the first leg. Can he do it in the fourth? 16. For tops. Oh 56. my word. Luke, you require 16. Well, in the first leg we saw pop, 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 but since then we've seen pop, pop, stop. On two 70-odd finishes from Aspinall, double two now for the world champion. And these are expensive misses, perhaps, too. Yeah, the, the, the first dart he didn't like, and I'm sure it impacted the second. That was a real poor dart from Luke Humphreys. Unusual. And we've said it before, we say it again. Now 3-1 to so Aspinall here, halfway to the finishing line in this semi-final, looking for a consecutive spot in a nightly final. Achieving it in the northeast, can he also achieve it in the southwest in consecutive weeks? Yeah, Nathan beating Peter Wright was a real blow for Snakey. Absolutely welded to the bottom of the table, pointless. Oh, he'll love that. He'll love that. Double 12. This is the difference. There's just not enough. Two treble visits from Luke Humphreys. And bearing in mind, he's missed a few darts at a double as well. So he's not gaining at the end of the leg for what he's missing out on during the, the scoring phase. It's not, it's not looking good because of that. And it'll look even worse if this finds double 18, and it has! And Nathan Aspinall here is roaring towards the nightly final here in Exeter because he now leads the world champion by a margin of five. The Bulls are 170 to save the match against Aspinall. And that was pretty much all she wrote. But Humphreys here is going to be back for the clean-up operation on 25. He did that last time he went for trouble 19, oddly enough. 25. For 265. To get his second leg. Well, he's in 16, but unfortunately it wasn't the double. This isn't soft tip, so it doesn't count. And is that the end of the road for the world champion in Exeter? Is this the Exeter exit for Luke Humphreys? The bullseye says it is. 63. Oh, and Aspinall was that Luke close to reaching the final. He may well be back. Who knows? Will he be? Well, no, he won't. Not, not yet. No, not yet. Luke he attacked Humphreys. it that time. And you can actually tell by the way the dart entered the board. Humphreys will be in front now after these three. And can he pile on a big advantage yes he can and Humphrey's finding his best game here way in 11 data and possibly a repeat of that from 5-1 down he has been brilliant under the cosh to produce it that's why he's world number one and world champ because he can do this double 18 games on the ninth leg Luke Humphrey is not looking so smiley now this game and if it finishes with this average, it'll be seventh over a ton. 119. Well, that's left double 19. 
Would that be the segment on the outer ring he picked? Probably Luke not, but he's got three at it. Gets. He was 5-1 down, Luke Humphreys. Now wants double eight. Hold the phone, Go Humphreys has leveled the match. Luke it's 5 all. It was Go obvious on. this was going to go to a last leg decider. He matches on paper, they played on Sizel. Yes. And he's finding the red bit on the Sizel board here. 123. Not a disaster. Because at 306, it's not that easy to leave a finish. And the finish that is left is very, very difficult. It's likely Nathan Aspinall will get six darts if he needs them. May only need three. Could he finish with a fanfare? He could. He wants tops. Nathan Aspinall blazes his way into the Exeter final with a sensational 160 knockout of the world champion, Luke Humphries. Aspinall was 5 1 up and seemingly cruising when the world champ reeled off four legs to send it into a decider. He took his time. He got going from the off with his first visit in the match against Michael Smith was a 180. Oh, look at that deflection. <laughs> that is a sickening deflection as far as Rob Cross is concerned. He has not gone for the treble 18 there. He's gone for treble 20. He's nowhere near it. And it has gone all the way. That is disgusting. <laughs> I seem to remember Clayton doing that as well, isn't it? Cannon into a treble 18. Nopper did one into a bullseye as well once, didn't he? Which... Mm. I get lucky with these deflections. Oh, Look at yeah, an important little passage of play. This only just in the 12. Now that double 10. Yeah. And double 10 is found by Luke Little. Not only gets his first leg on the board, gets one against the. Talked about how headstrong Luke Little is. Just the fact he's rocked up at week five with a brand new set of darts. He, you know, I'm led to believe he hasn't been kind of phasing him in in pro tours. He's just, just gone for it. Well, the last fortnight in the Premier League, in his debut campaign, mind, he has turned up and changed his throw one week, changed his darts the next week, and he still continues to win games. And if he doesn't win, he's losing by very narrow margins. That leaves tops. He will come back. Every match he's played in the Premier League, he's got at least five legs. So he's either won it or he's been in a last leg decider and lost. I don't think any of us ever doubted how competitive he'd be in this oh, Premier League. 32, to quickly level up. This could get a little awkward. Ah, yeah. oh, uses the guide. A little bit of a reaction. Stay focused with that last start. 38. Just got to apply some pressure and hope he gets a bit of change out of Rob Cross on the 76. Oh. Robbie Managed to take out 100 to hold throw under major pressure a couple of legs ago. Not dissimilar this position because he's only going to get one dart at double. He elects for double top. He's only just stayed in the 16. And he heard it clip the wire. He's had that to the ball already, Luke Littler. He doesn't need the ball route this time. Straight at double 15. Now he attacked it. 78. And there's always the risk. Let's off the cross. He's had a chance to hit the front in this game. He couldn't take it. And yeah. Cross denies him another opportunity in this leg. Voltage in shins. Oh, Rob Cross's ears are pricked up there because just 57 might mean Littler only gets one dart at the ball when he comes back. And if Cross can set this up handily. Well, he's not doing that. Good pick up of the last. I was just about to say, minimum requirement 57. Get yourself to 130. It was a good last start. Will he get a go? Double seven for Luke. What an opportunity for Rob. It, he could have been betterly placed. He'll back himself. He's already taken out a turn in the match. Need to treble. Not really close to it. He does set things up, but he's relying on mistakes. Double two. 
three. Well, you can argue it was the double that cost him the world final. Will it cost him a spot Swim. in the final in Exeter here? For daylight for Rob Cross, and he would throw for the match. He's got a feather in. Just shuffling along. Plenty of space, and he uses those guys. Brilliant dart from Rob. And he has a two-leg lead, yeah, Luke disappointed because he had opportunity at the final here in Exeter. Double 16 for a 6-3 win. Match darts miss, but will he get any more? Oh, there's the first one, another one. Oh, the guy was there, he'll... he's so frustrated. What a way to go from Luke Littler, but it may be his last start here in Exeter this week. To win it, 6-3. Double four. And Cross cannot get over the line just yet. And he's hit double five a couple of times already. He needs it to keep him in, and he can't find it. The doubles have deserted Luke Littler in the last couple of legs. Rob Cross still shaking his head. Another opportunity to win it. It's not Littler's night. It doesn't look like it. But it might be Rob Cross's night. He beats Luke Littler by six legs to three, and he's through to the final for the first time in the Premier League this year. I was worrying about Rose nothing, so I wasn't playing that poorly after watching. So it's good to give yourself that confirmation that, do you know what, things are all right. 56. Nathan, you require 75. Well, 75 here, and this is for 3-0. Lovely dart. Double 12. Double 6 cross weights, hoping for a look at 86, 69. and his hopes are answered. Click of the wire, you heard. Well, he loves 54. He would expect double 7 looks favourite from here. No, bullseye now. It's not a case of gotta go, but he'd like it to. 61. Nathan, you require 6. Bottom of the board. Attacking it, Rodri. Attacking it. Well, he's going to have to put some swaz on this. And he does, and he goes three up here. Nathan Aspinall, a missed bullseye from Rob Cross. Aspinall swooped. Well, uh, uh, come on now, double 19. You'll have no argument from me. Surely a dart at double 19 is better than one at the bullseye. Double four. He'll argue, of course, that he thinks he's more likely to hit the treble 18 than the treble 20. Fair point. That's what he will say to you. Yeah. Or he might also say, who are you? <laughs> Double eight. Double four. To end the debate. 21. And it rages on, and Aspinall now. Shoulders back, Maybe smash it. He's, he's not been great on double four tonight, Rob Cross. I mean, double three in the previous leg, Nathan Aspinall. You really have to attack these. No well, he's just lost it. Lost it to the left. Rob, you require four. Well, Rob Cross, as the drama goes on at the back end of this leg, it's the fourth of the match. It feels like it could be the 11th. This feels like a decider. Got to reach. Got to reach. Reach it! No score. And Nathan, that's believe each and every time Cross four. misses darts at double, looks like a boxer coming out of his corner when he hears the sound of the bell. He does, yeah. There it is, 4-0, and soon it's going to be ding, ding, seconds out, round five. Treble 19, treble 20, double 12, Rob Cross likes to go down to go across, treble yeah. 19 for treble 16. Yeah, I, I quite like the, that way of going, because if you hit a, a 19, you can actually then go semi-ball treble 19 to leave a, a, a double, you don't need two trebles to do so, for an 11 dart leg. And to get on the board. 17. He is, of course, trying to leave double 18 at the end of the third visit of the nine-dart bid. 
Aspinall 160. Well, we've seen this tonight. Another there to leave the top of the shop for another 160 out. And it's becoming his signature shot. The Asp bears his fangs. He's 5 0 up on Rob Cross. In Regardless, he lost in the first match tonight to Humphreys Van Gerwen, but it won't dethrone him from the position at the top of the table. And it was a real big game, Nathan versus Peter Wright, wasn't it? It felt like a, yes. a real meaningful game, even this early in the in the league phase. 140. Nathan, you require 122. For the weekly win. Can he find that treble? He can find the treble next door, which is of no use to him. Unlucky. It's a nice aggressive dart trying to swerve it around the low 18. 71. So Rob Cross, who'd probably given his penchant for 18 hitting, would have preferred to be on 122 than 121. But anyway, he's on 121. Has to find the treble 17 to have a shot at the ball. And he has found it to stay in it, you feel. He wants the bullseye. Fantastic darts from the former world champion. Wow. He went racing off, he was 5-1 up. And Humphreys crept his way back into it, levelled at five apiece. In yeah. the end, Arsenal held throw in the deciding leg and got through 6-5. Yeah. And what a leg. And what a leg. Could we see something similar in terms of a comeback? And you talk about comebacks, what about crossing the World Championship, by the way? Oh! 134. Nathan, you require 121. So, he couldn't take out 1-2-2. Two, two. Cross did take out the 1-2-1, one, one, but Aspinall can't follow suit straight away. But he can leave tops. 81. Rob, you require 40. For a third leg. Like Rodri said, it was looking improbable at 5-0. Sliding off the marker. 20. He did not do that, so it's down to Nathan Aspinall to win in week five Nathan in Exeter. And when you're 5-2 down, you can't afford to miss three and a double. Aspinall wants tops. And yes. Nathan Aspinall is the chief in Exeter. He dominates in Devon. He wins in the Premier League to put his name right into the playoff race. He's too hot for Rob Cross in the final.